Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. Today I will show you an FPS test uh, on a computer specification i7-7700HQ and NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti. Please, before to start, subscribe our channel and like our videos. First, we are going to see the setting of uh, for low low quality and full HD and to see the FPS in this specification. Let's go and see. As you can see now, this is uh, quality and an FPS resolution. It's above right. It's about 200, 210. As you can see here, all are in low settings. All graphics are in low. It's between 170, 210 FPS. As you can see, this is the season eight of Fortnite. I will go now to show you the medium settings, graphic settings, and see the difference. Let's go and see the medium graphics. 50 Ti GTX NVIDIA. This is uh, medium settings. I think it's cool, cool, and very good. We are talking here about. Uh, between 130 and 160, 170, it's good for medium settings. It's good as you can see here. The effects and the color are pretty good than low settings. Let's go now to the high settings. High settings in Fortnite Season 8. Oh, a huge difference. There is a huge difference between high and medium on 1050 Ti. The FPS is between 70 and 85. FPS, you are playing here with a high uh, graphic qualities and it's pretty good we use 80 we are playing here with cpu i7 7700hq the seven generation of enter let's move now to the epic quality graphics from NVIDIA 1050 Ti Oh, as you can see, yes, there is a little difference between high and epic but of course you can, you will see the difference more in a huge screen maybe 13 inch, you will 30 inch and more you will see the difference very obvious as you can see here the epic setting is between 50 and 60 fps I play with a graphic GTX NVIDIA 1050 Ti I think it's good you can play with the sum of high and epic settings here yeah, as you can see I recommend you to use these settings for and a good FPS let's see here you can put that new distance epic is it a huge priority here shadow you can put shadow on high or medium it's okay it's not matter on Kiliasm it's put on high texture on high also effect we don't need so much effect and let's 
the post processing let's go with medium i think this will be very good settings graph settings let's see how much fps we can get from these settings as you can see it's a pretty pictures here with good graphic qualities and with an fps between 100 and 115 fps it's very good and good job for 1050 ti gcx DDR. guys if you want anything else and many comparison please write in the comment down please guys we need your help please subscribe our channel and like our videos See you later.